I noticed that the most watched video on my channel is the one I did about the culture shocks in Uganda. If you don't know, I am a Ugandan from Uganda, the Pearl of Africa. And yeah, I realized that that video actually got a lot of attention. And I don't know, like, I just want to give you guys a part two. But this time, I'm going to be talking about the dating culture shocks in uganda because i don't know if you guys know this but dating in uganda is not like in the western countries we have our dating cultures here that i don't know i think most people might find shocking but well <laughs> that's our culture and yeah i'm not going to ramble too much let's get right into this video let's go <laughs> So the very first dating culture shock in Uganda, I would say is shaming public display of affection. I know in Western countries, like people express, you know, public display of affection freely. Like they can kiss in public, they can, you know, hug their spouses in public. I'm not saying in Uganda you can't hug but like it shouldn't be an intimate hug otherwise people are going to look at you like mm, get a bedroom like find a room like for some reason in uganda public display of affection is not embraced like you're going to be seen as weird and you know immoral <laughs> you're going to be seen as someone that doesn't have morals you know especially the kissing like the public kissing i see that in most countries like people freely kiss you know even on the road like someone can kiss their partner freely oh my god don't do that in uganda don't do that in uganda <laughs> because people are going to look at you with looks of disgust people are going to <laughs> people are going to give you these looks of eh, what is that you're doing you know and you're going to feel out of place like for some reason we've not yet embraced the pda like my country <laughs> i don't know if that makes us old school or you know local i don't know but yeah that's just like that's just the way it is if you're planning to date in uganda if you want to date a ugandan you should keep that in mind pda is not embraced in uganda at least not yet for all i know then coming on to number two another dating culture shock in uganda we have what we call clans now if you're from the same clan with someone you're not supposed to you know date that person you're not supposed to get married to that person it is prohibited it is a taboo now i'm not talking about tribes there are different tribes but within those tribes they are clans right so i'm going to try to explain what clans are in uganda right so when we say that people come from the same clan it means that those people are tied to a particular ancestor or particular ancestors from whom they can you know track their lineage even if it's from decades and decades you know even if it's from past years so many years behind for some reason you're considered to be related and it is a taboo to date those people it doesn't matter whether you share the same you know mother or father and usually these clans are identified with animals you know animals and i want to say reptiles yeah so you find that a particular clan is tied down to a particular animal. I'll give an example of Mbogo clan. I am from the Mbogo clan and Mbogo in English is a buffalo, right? That means that anyone who is tied down to Mbogo clan, to buffalo clan in Uganda, I cannot date that person. I cannot marry that person because it is believed that I am related to that person. Even if I don't know them, like it doesn't matter. As long as they also come from the buffalo clan, that person and I cannot date. We can never be together. It is a taboo. It is prohibited. And there are actually so many clans. There is the Mbogo clan. There is the Nchima clan. Nchima is monkey, you know, in English. There is the Mamba clan. Mamba is a type of fish. Like so many, every animal has a clan attached to it in Uganda. And for some reason, 
if you are from a particular clan it is prohibited it is a taboo for you to date someone from the same clan right otherwise if you go ahead and you date that person it is believed that you're going to have years of misfortune you will never be happy in your marriage and actually some even believe that the kids you guys produce will not live like they'll die you know so yeah that is another dating shock in uganda i don't know if this also you know exists in other countries but if it does you guys let me know like i would like to hear from you guys you know if this also exists in your country anyways another culture shock in uganda that might not actually be you know in other countries is the bride price guys when it comes to dating in uganda dating and marriage if you want to marry a girl in uganda especially in buganda clan because i'm going to speak for buganda because i am in Uganda. that is my tribe if you want to take your dating to another level and you know make things official and you know put a ring on it baby you're going to have to pay bride price and we actually have three occasions you know before you get married you have to go through three occasions three ceremonies one is the kuchala in the kuchala you go to the you know the girls singer the girls aunties and you know you introduce yourself you tell them your manifestos you know <laughs> you tell them your manifestos of how you would like to you know wife their daughter up and and they are going to give you a day on when you have to come back and you officially meet the girl's parents you know now that is what we call the kwanjula the first one is kuchala then the kwanjula it is different steps guys you can't just get married in uganda like you have to go through different steps first is the kuchala then at the kuchala they tell you the date they give you a date on when you're supposed to officially come and meet the girl's parents you know to ask for her hand in marriage and that is the introduction now keep in mind that on both ceremonies on both functions you shouldn't come empty-handed you know the man has to carry you know bride price on all functions you know every function the kuchala you have to carry things for the for the what for the singer for the aunties and you know the people of the household and when it comes to the introduction this time you even have to come with more things you know actually it is the girl's family to tell you what you should bring for them you know so yeah i feel getting married in uganda is actually a little bit more costly and expensive because it's like it's a lot of functions and on all these functions the man has to pay bride price bride price can go as far as you know the girl's family asking for cars and you know anything they can ask for anything and it is believed that the more things you know the man brings the more bride price you pay it shows that you know you're like you're you're a man enough you're man enough to actually take their daughter and they believe that their daughter is going to be well taken care of by you you can't take a girl in uganda like you can't marry a girl in uganda without paying bride price that is just it <laughs> and i'm sure this is a culture shock that you know most people don't know because i know it's not very common in other countries but yeah that's uganda for you <laughs> and guys that brings me to another point another dating culture shock in uganda our men provide guys like that is instilled in them from when they are young like in uganda men provide that's why it's so surprising to see you know women from other countries you know coming on the internet and talking about they pay on debts 50 50 they contribute you know towards the bills in the house like i'll be looking at you like because when i tell you in my country the men are the sole providers like in uganda men provide like what do i look like going on a date and i have to pull out my purse to pay like that just like it's just like <laughs> i don't know it's even so funny like that is just not it in my country like once you go out on a date it is automatic that the man is the one that has to pay the bill it doesn't matter if you guys are in a relationship or not 
if a lady is more financially stable or not the men are the providers when you go out on a date it is men that fully provide there is nothing like 50 50 in uganda the men are the providers so if you're a man out there in a foreign country you would like to date a ugandan girl come knowing that in our country there is nothing like 50 50 our culture has taught our men to be providers men provide our culture has taught men to be providers from when they were kids like men are taught to be the sole providers there is nothing like 50 50 so passport bros keep that in mind before you come to uganda let that stick in your mind <laughs> In another dating culture shock in Uganda. <laughs> now this one is a bit funny, but yeah, I'm just going to say it anyway because I mean it's the reality. In Uganda, if you call a woman out on a date, you are expected to send her transport money, transport to the venue, you know, where you guys are going to have the date from, and as well transport back to her place. Like that's just the culture here, and that is what we are used to you know that is what we grow up you know <laughs> that's like that is just what we are accustomed to you know our men give us transport money so keep that in mind if you're planning to date a ugandan girl like our ugandan girls are used to being given transport money and actually i think it is because in uganda it's not like in other western countries where almost everyone you know has a car and stuff it's actually interesting like when you look at americans almost everyone in america has a car someone could be dead ass broke but one thing they are going to have is a car you know now a car is a luxury in uganda like not so many people have cars in uganda and i believe that is why transport money is very common like it is a culture in uganda to send women transport money because most women don't have cars in uganda you know so how do you expect her to get to the venue to transport herself to the venue if you've not given her that transport money you know i believe that is one of the reasons why you know that is a thing in uganda sending women transport money because of our living conditions right so yeah you have to send that lady transport to the venue and transport back home and also not forgetting after that date our men usually tip us with some money like that's just a culture <laughs> each time you go out on a date with a guy after that date like it is just polite it's a polite way of i don't know saying thank you for you know making it to that date but for some reason a man a gentleman in uganda you have to tip that woman after a date like you have to give her some pockets you know some pocket money <laughs> then coming on to another point we have what we call the senga tooks now senga means auntie and usually these aunties prepare the girl for marriage you know if a girl is going to get married in uganda especially in my tribe because me i am a muganda if a girl is going to get married in buganda that girl has to visit her auntie her singer in uganda we call auntie singer right so before you get married you have to go and visit your auntie and this auntie has to prepare you for marriage you know to prepare you and you know teach you how to treat a man how to be a wife material basically in conclusion teach you how to be a pick misha how to be a pick me oh god that is one thing i hate about our culture i feel we are groomed to be pick me's <laughs> because one thing about you know baganda women ugandan women but especially the baganda women like we are taught to you know respect our men never talk when a man is talking you know you have to do all the chores around the house a man is never wrong that is one thing i hate about our culture and i feel as times have evolved like women are no longer you know <laughs> women are okay fine one thing about ugandan women we are actually very respectful but these days women know how to speak up for themselves back in that day we were told 
a woman doesn't speak when a man is speaking a man is never wrong you know you have to do everything for your man from cooking to cleaning to you know even bathing him like anything that man wants you do <laughs> you guys so we are groomed to be pick miss hey <laughs> i am glad that you know most ugandan women these days you know they like they form their voice and you know no longer accept to you know be treated that kind of way i'm not saying they are not respectful anymore but to some point you know they don't take bs they no longer take bs and i love that for us guys so far those are the culture dating shocks in uganda you guys can give me more you know my fellow ugandans like you can comment more if you feel i have left some out like feel free to comment them in the comments below and you know let's interact as well as the non-ugandans like you guys tell me what you think about our dating culture in uganda and you know tell me more about your own dating cultures in your country also i would love to know where you guys are watching from don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already hit the notification bell so that you get notified each and every time i drop a video child till next time i remain lisa peace and love i love you all bye